Good afternoon. Uh, we, we called you here today for, uh, to let you all be aware of what the uh, Lord what it does when they come together and, and, and work as a team. And this is the fruit of our labors. We received probably 700 pounds of, of uh, marijuana, and it was a corporate, uh, a corporate effort between the uh, agencies with the uh, Sumter County Sheriff's Office, with Chris County. Mid State Task Force, Sylvester PD, and uh, Tip County Sheriff's Office. We appreciate everybody that was involved in it and helped with it. It uh, culminated from uh, confidential sources and uh, surveillances, and we uh, executed a search warrant on Hooks Automotive in Sylvester, Georgia, and this is, this is what we came up with. But again, it's, it's, it's part of an effort of, of each agency that's involved in it, and that, that's, what, that's what it takes. We can't do it by ourselves. And we just appreciate uh, y'all coming out and, and, and making the public aware of it. It's, uh, it's a pretty heavy hit to the drug dealers. This is about $700,000 for a straight day of uh, marijuana. So uh, we have put somewhat of a den in it, and uh, this, is not, this is not the end of it. We'll continue to do this. But uh, again, it's, it's the cooperation between the agents that, that brought it to, to where it is now. Thank you. The person who owned the auto shop, they had previous arrests for trafficking in the 80s. Do you think this is something that he was doing for a while and was just getting away with? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Because, uh, in fact, one of the, the deputies at uh, Tip County informed me back when I was a trooper in the mid 80s. I investigated an accident of uh, the Blue Lincoln Continental right in front of Shona's on 82. Somebody rear ended him, he had 100 pounds of marijuana. He was one of the guys that was arrested. So we're in Canada. Was that Mr. Hooks? Calvin Hooks? No, no, I don't remember his name. But it was one of the six. Mm -hmm. And if this hadn't been seized, how many people could this have gotten to? How many people would this have reached? How many, how many people would these drugs have reached if it wasn't stopped? Oh, no, I mean, they buy it by the, probably a quarter ounce or so. Go figure. If they buy a quarter ounce, you're looking at the four to the pound, 2,800 people. Would you say it was one of the main suppliers, Sheriff, at this time? Or is this just one drop in the It's large because, I mean, you have to be, you have to be dealing pretty good to be able to go to Texas and buy where we come from, Mexico, whatever, and buy, you know, pay first that kind of thing. Have, have you stepped up your um, uh, drug enforcement? Have you stepped it up some? Yes, sir. Uh, you, I, get, I get calls every day hey, about drug dealing. Every day. You, you, have, you are famous for having an eye and an ear for... Stopping drugs. Uh, is, is this just part of well, your instinct? I, this, this is not. This, this, these guys are with the different agencies. But they're the ones that did this. But uh, I get the information. I pass it on to our drug agents, and they they know that I want I want to do what what we can and do our part to uh, eradicate. We're not going to get rid of it. There's too much money involved. In it. But uh, Tiff County Sheriff's Office will will do uh, everything that we can to. Uh, to do our part in, in drug court. Sheriff, how important is the partnership between these various counties and, and agencies, especially Tipton, with it being right here with these major thoroughfares through with Highway 82 and I-75? Oh, well, you got, I mean, you got 75, 82, 125, 41, 319. Uh, all of them are major thoroughfares for drug, and they use them. And we just have to sort out and figure out which, which routes they're taking at any given time. Sheriff, we've heard rumors, um, we're from the local newspaper there in Sylvester. Um, not too terribly long ago, there was a car wash, um, probably a block or so, from this automatic repair shop, and um, the individuals in that car wash have been busted several times mm -hmm. for trafficking. Right. Um, rumor kind of has it that Mr. Hood's his son, Calvin Jr., um, had ties to Derek, who was at that car wash. Do you know if he's had anything to do with this? Have y'all been able to tie those two things together? I'm not sure, but if they deal in drugs, you probably have problems. Probably, probably, in all probability, he's good. Is this the largest bus you've ever seen? Marijuana? Mm, probably. 
probably in this area? Probably the, the biggest one around here. I I got one in the late nineties with like three hundred pounds of I mean this is over twice that much. The six men in custody, are they cooperating and helping you guys to try and get somewhere further with this case? You'd have to accept the, the sheriff. The sheriff uh, I'll be there in his custody too. Well, was this a shocker this much? Uh, had you anticipated this much from your information you had, or was it just a shocker? It's pretty much a shock. I wouldn't anticipate quite this much. Uh, do you think you still have uh, street level dealers or dealers that you think you may have this much flowing through your county still? It's possible. I mean, but I'm not going to swear to I hope I don't. But I mean, it's possible that it could still be. I mean, I guess it could be somebody that still steps up and takes place and do this policy. Are the, the men cooperating with you guys to take this a step further and try to make more arrests? Right now we're doing initial interviews with them. So far they're uh, being cooperative, but we're still under investigation. Are all the men still in jail? Yes, ma'am. Do you feel like this is part of a Mexican cartel uh, movement or a gang movement or anything like that? I'm not sure. Right now we're still under investigation. And we'll uh, <coughs> hope the investigation might show you see where it comes from and who sent it and how we got it or how it got it into our possession. Like Do you use the GBI? The GBI wasn't involved in this. Okay. Chef, we've had several questions if you feel like, personally, any leniency would be provided to these men based on their age. Uh, some judge has to answer on that one. Some of the men have been involved with other drugs besides marijuana. Do you think that this is it? Do you think they might have other drugs stashed somewhere else? Happy speculating, but just... I'm pretty sure with some of the background or some of these that they are something besides marijuana working around somewhere. Are you working to try and seize that as well? Right. Is Sylvester and Worth County a gateway city for coming in here, do you think? Or is this just one point that it was dropped? I think it's just one point that it was dropped. I think this right hand was going to be dropped and it was going to be dispersed out in different areas. You know, probably go, some of them will come back to Tiff County, some of them will go back to Crisp and into Cockwood and into Dart. I mean, well, I don't think we're County can hold this much note before it goes stale before it gets used. <laughs> um, have you got a new drug dog or have you got a drug dog? Are you using a drug Sylvester has a drug dog. So we yeah. utilize their dogs when we need a search of vehicle or, or search of anything we uh, utilize uh, Sylvester PD. Well, could we speak to the officer and ask him a few questions? Yes, Did you use the drug dog on this bust or, or can you tell me a little more about that? Uh, the only time that I used the drug dog was after the seizure had already been made and I did it for training purposes because you know, a nickel bag of marijuana smells different than 800 pounds of marijuana. So once the marijuana was seized, I took the dog, ran the dog around the truck that it was in, and the dog alerted on the truck. So, was it hidden in the truck, or was it just in the truck? It was after it had been seized, so I mean, it was already in the truck. It wasn't hidden, I can say. So it, it, wasn't, it wasn't hidden in the dash or anything, it was just in the truck? Right. Now, when we, when we initially searched the search warrant, it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, located on the back of the truck. Uh, pickup truck. And the truck you're referring to, is it the panel truck or the pickup truck? Hey, the pickup truck that was unloaded onto. Right, the, the truck that the dog starts or sniffed out for training, was it the pickup truck or the panel truck? Oh, it was the panel truck. Did you stop them on the street or did you go to the business to uh, initialize you know, the, the, the search? Uh, no, once the drop was made, we initiated a search warrant at that location at that time.
Uh, your reaction to seeing this much pot at one time? Uh, I'm glad it's off street. Um, that's 800 pounds less than I have to worry about. What was your first reaction? That it surprised me that that much was coming in North County. Do you think there's more? I do. This much? Uh, maybe not this much, but not, you know, like the sheriff said, somebody's going to step up and take take place. I mean, it's not said that this much or more won't come through again. How important has it been the cooperation between the police department and the sheriff's department in North County? How important is that? Well, it's very important. Uh, without cooperation from both departments, then things go haywire. Things go wrong when people get hurt. And it's very important. Do you feel you've got a good case? Yes, sir. That's all I got. What's the, what's the proximity to um, a park? It seemed like they're back on the back side right there where this business was. There's like a park. I know that the baseball stadium is around there. Right. Kids are around there a lot. And it's very important to get this off That's right. right there. But the proximity is probably a couple hundred yards. <clears throat>
because we're going to put the picture up. The only, the only place we know is where she lived down on Urbana Road off of uh, uh, Omega Del Rey Road. And uh, we've been down there all morning searching the, the farms and ponds and uh, all that area around several hundred acres. But uh, we come up here. Did any particular reason, Chair, why she would, the family waited too much? I know I read in, I think, Latasha or somebody. That's, 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 that's why it's so strange. You know, why, why, why didn't the family come forward and report me? We found out from school. Because she always brought the kids to school to pick them up. And all of a sudden, they just dropped off. Nobody ever saw her. So and then I got, call, I got a call at, at, at my office from an employee at the school. And then, uh, Started digging a little bit deeper. In fact, we did a search warrant on where she lived. We hadn't come up with anything, but there's, there's a lot of a lot of unanswered questions there too. So we feel like there's foul play, but we can't prove it. But right, right now, she, you know, the fact of the matter is, the latest mission, the child mission, and that's what that's our main concern right now. Sheriff, when you say family, was it a spouse that reported her missing, or parents, or? Uh, I don't know if they're married or not, but they, they live together. Uh, her mother from, lives in Adel. She hasn't seen the daughter in, I think she said, three years. So it's, uh, you know, I don't know whether the, it's a dysfunctional family or exactly what it is, but uh, that was, you know, that's all we could gather out of her. Oh, so, you know, we're drawing straws. Trying to do everything we can. Can't stop. Uh, that's why we, you know, tried to do do this today, and we've been out foot searching two weeks ago, and we didn't we didn't come with anything. But uh, we need to find the, the fact that family needs closure, and uh, you know whether she's alive or dead, but, uh, you know they need to know. And, and hopefully, this, this the beginning of this reward will climb, and, and people will add to it, and, and get somebody to because some, like I said, somebody knows something. Get this thing cleared up. She had three, three small kids, and uh, I think from five, seven. I mean, they little toddlers like that. Just beautiful little kids. And you know, the people at the school said that she loved those kids. She brought them every morning. Uh, picked them up every afternoon. Any function, she was there, and then all of a sudden, no Christmas. So this was totally out of her totally out of her character. Yeah. Totally out of her character. So hopefully, if, if people, you know, this will get out, and people will, uh, come forward and, and, and help us with it. We, we need help. We need help back. And I appreciate y'all. Is y'all doing y'all's part? Is there a number they can call? Sure. Call the sheriff's office three eight eight six zero two zero. Ask for a detective. Just that's that's just for that. They'll they'll just tell them they you know need to talk about that case and they'll put them you know, wherever they need to go. We appreciate it. Thank you.